Hi everybody. Uh, today we're unbagging number 32 of the Citria magazine. It's a happy day. It finally arrived. I've been waiting for it uh, since it came out. I uh, ordered it through a retail, a, a very nice retail uh, firm uh, spe uh, specialized in uh, board games and war games from here, but uh, it's not their fault, it's the distance. But finally it arrived, of course, with a hefty price tag, again not their, their fault. Um, this is the uh, this is how it is in Eastern Europe, we have to pay a premium for uh, being uh, so far uh, away from uh, the center of uh, things. Uh, but uh, it is how it is. Uh, as luck would have it, now I'm also uh, uh, testing the new uh, Samsung uh, S10 phone, so it's a new camera, uh, very excited, it's only a test, I've been uh, selected to, I signed up and uh, uh, I was lucky enough to uh, get selected, so I'm filming on a new camera now, of course uh, this won't last, it's only a couple of weeks, but uh, very very excited, so Long story short, Citra magazine, love the, uh, this magazine, I've been buying it uh, constantly since uh, uh, 2016 and I uh, have one or two issues uh, before that. Um, I'm very excited because I'm a self-proclaimed uh, self uh, Mark Herman fanboy and one of the two games well, practically three games from uh, this issue is a Mark Herman design, and I'm uh, uh, I'm very interested in Frederick Bay's designs um, from the Napoleonic era, and I'm very excited to see one of the, one of those uh, inside this magazine. So uh, let's do a quick. Boxing, of course, and I wasn't planning to do this on a new phone. Uh, I thought I will, will be using my uh, video camera and tripod, but uh, of course, um, this is not an issue now. Uh, I just received this phone to review. So far, so good. So, Citra magazine, very nice, glossy paper, full color, love uh, Roger McGowan's work, um, table of contents, we have scenarios for Ukraine 43, uh, as far as I uh, can uh, tell what's here. I mean, what game, what games are they referencing? But we'll see. Oh, Poland 44. I've done an unboxing of that game. Very nice. Pendragon. It's in. It's on the medium list, <laughs> not really on the short list, but uh, as far as coin games go. But uh, so nice. Emperor of the Sun. One of my favorite game games, of course. I said I see. When I see stuff from Mark Herman, I go and get it. Huge fan. Um, so, scenario for Ukraine 43. Something about Denmark. We'll see. Uh, the texts are usually very nice. I, oh, so. And Pericles by Mark Herman did an unboxing video of that game. I haven't had the time to uh, try it out, but I'm looking forward to it. So, it's a very nice game from uh, what I can tell. 
So bots in Pericles and other games. So, so we've done another fine uh, war game and nice, oh, nice issue of this magazine. So from the State of Siege series, Holland 44. A nice poster. And Dragon. So, all together a very nice magazine indeed. And on the back, we have um, Battle of the Battle of EC in 1815. So it's like a, a, you can use it as a I don't know as a cover for the game, and on the back we have the cover for Gettysburg, the Mark Herman design. Like I said, I see Mark Herman, I see Gettysburg, uh, like very much th that battle. Um, I go and get it, and I did. <laughs> Rule book for the Gettysburg game. Nice full color. Uh, it's about 12 pages. This is the map for Gettysburg. It's a very nice uh, like an old style map used as a base for a very nice and uh, functional new design map. Then we have the rule book for the Battle of EC. Frederick base design. Less uh, pictures. But looking good. And there's Frederick Bay. I've read uh, his articles in uh, Garrett Histoire's uh, special edition concerning Napoleon's battles, all Napoleon's battles, which was a, a hoot, a very nice, uh, very nice special edition. Then we have the rain effect chart for EC. So we have a player player eight uh, player eight card, and then we have the map for EC. That's a beautiful map. So you see, if I'm not mistaken, is one of the last battles of uh, of uh, uh, let's see, one of the last battles of the Napoleonic Wars. No, not Gettysburg. Gotta see this. So it's in the Jour de Gloire series. It doesn't say. Maybe in the background. Yes, after Waterloo, Wellington and Blue here continued their operations and launched by June 30 a maneuver which proved decisive for the fate of Paris. Okay, Marshal Davou, Minister of War. Yes, so it's. Yeah. Yeah, it says right here, the final battle of the Napoleonic era had been fought at EC in 1815. So I was right, that's what I thought. Then we have table battles, rules on cardboard, two pages. I have them, I purchased them from Wargame Vault, Vault and uh, I purchased. Uh, about every expansion there was because I really, really, really like this game. I started with Christmas at White Mountain, which was a promotional um, promotional game for those who bought stuff from Holland Spiele, but um, it, the price is too high and um, uh, it's too risky 
to buy uh, I mean in that time uh, to buy directly from the United States I had the parcels uh, lost by the Romanian post office but uh, when I have seen when I saw stuff on war, war, war game vault I um, jumped on it and it was a hoot so it's very nice it's a very nice game I'm excited to see this here this is the third game so it's not a two uh, game uh, issue it's a three game issue because we have, you have the cards you punch them out and then you have strength and what type of dice you use to activate uh, each unit so these are units uh, rather like uh, I don't know wings and this is uh, as I see from the American Civil War uh, it's a very nice addition to to my collection this this issue i think it's the best issue of the c3i magazine off the top of my head i haven't even read anything in it but uh game wise i think it's the best issue uh right now and it's uh, against a pretty stiff competition why because um we had South Pacific by Mark Herman, which is great in this uh, in this magazine. And then we uh, we had Plan Plan Orange from Mark Herman before that, which is also great. Then we had Soviet Storm or uh, Objective uh, Kiev or uh, other games like that, which are awesome. So um, I uh, went through. This is the summary for play rate summaries for Gettysburg. And we had uh, a northern scenario for uh, for Holland 44, which is always nice. And uh, before that, we had another card and a series of nice uh, artwork cards. I mean, Roger B. McGovern artwork. I uh, really love that uh, uh, stylish, uh, stylized type of artwork, which uh, he definitely masters. Uh, very clear note. So it. it it, aid, uh, it comes to the aid of the player in uh, respect of planning and stuff like that. And last but not least, we have the counters. So we have uh, some counters for Archibus, which is another game on my list. I don't have it, but it's interesting, Archibus. So then we have uh, something from I believe SPQR but might be mistaken but it seems like SPQR then we have uh, some counters from I believe from the EC game and then some Counters for Holland 44, the, again EC game, and then we have Gettysburg, which has so many counters. So we have 8, 16, 32, well, minus 4, so we have 28 counters, which is nice. Can't wait to try it out. So, all in all, a very, very nice issue. This is issue 32 of C3I Magazine by Roger B. McGowan Publications. 2018, of course, reviewed in 2019, uh, but that's just the distance. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, see you again next time.